Introducing Hike Vision Smart Managed Switches and IVMS 4200, equipped with features to make them easier to repair and maintain, supporting a reduction in network downtime. This video will provide an overview of features and how to configure the switches. First, log into IVMS 4200 with your username and password. To add a device to Hike Vision's free IVMS 4200 software, first go to Device Management on the right. Then on the top, select Add and enter the information accordingly. In order to use visual topology features, you must add all devices to IVMS 4200. Visual topology management provides an easy to read, visualized 2D layout of the network devices that are connected to the smart managed switch. Create a custom view by going to the main menu and selecting topology. Then click on add topology to generate the current network. Make changes to topology display level and bandwidth alarm threshold by clicking on the gear icon on the left lower corner, then a small window will pop up. Set display level confirms the number of topologies that should be shown. Upstream bandwidth alarm, there's two levels. When it reaches level 1, the line between devices will turn yellow. When it reaches level 2, the line will turn red. After finishing the configuration, click OK, then click on the refresh icon on the right side. The topology should change according to your display level settings. Double click on any smart managed network switch to view status information. A service details window will open to display information like memory, CPU, and PoE power usage. Right click on the device and select the device status. A pop-up window will generate. On the right side, you can select device status, which will show you the same information as before. Total runtime of the smart switch will be displayed on the upper right corner. Port status will provide each port's bit rate, duplex, and flow control. Port statistics will give you the current network traffic information of each port. This page is set to refresh every 10 seconds, or you can select manual refresh by using the refresh button from the upper right corner. PoE port status will provide the PoE power output. Right click on the Smart Manage switch and then select Remote Configuration and a configuration window will pop up. This is similar to any other Hike Vision device configuration. From this pop up window, you can view the device information such as model serial number, and firmware version. You can add additional users under the User tab. You can reboot, restore default settings, restore all, import, export, and upgrade the smart switch firmware under the System Maintenance tab. Log Query can provide the logs and history for a smart switch. The Security tab will list the locked IP addresses. Double click on the line in between the smart switch and the device. In this case, we will select a PTZ Speed Dome camera. This will show you the transmission rate, the smart switch, and the PTZ IP addresses. Now we're going to unplug the Ethernet cable on the Smart Managed Switch, port 5, to simulate what happens when a PoE device is disconnected from the network. Now, you can see the Smart Managed switch has turned red with an alarm icon indicating there is an issue. Right-click on the Smart switch and select Alarm Handling to view the related alarm information. This window will display which port is triggering the alarm in details about the alarm. We're not going to clear the alarm events using the option in the left upper corner. Instead, we're going to reconnect the Ethernet cable on port 5. When the device comes back online, the red notification and alarm icon will disappear. Here we're unplugging the port 5 again, the alarm will reappear.
In order to manually clear the alarm icon, we're going to right click on the smart switch and select event handling again. Then clear all alarm events. Now the smart switch is no longer in abnormal mode. Right click on any PTZ or motorized varifocal camera, then select Live View. A Live View window will be generated. When viewing a PTZ camera, the control will also appear below. Right-click on any camera that is not a PTZ or a motorized varifocal, and a live view window will be generated. This time it will not display the control since the topology realizes this is not a PTZ or a motorized varifocal model. Visual topology supports keyword search. On the upper corner, you can enter the device name or the IP address, and it will locate the device within the topology. Signal Transmission Display can display only the path between a camera and a Smart Manage switch. To use this function, select the Signal Display icon on the right. Then select the camera and the Smart Switch. Then press OK. Non-related topology information will be hidden. All the features and functions will remain functional as intended, even though they're not displayed. Click on the top X icon to exit the signal transmission display to return the topology back to normal. Thank you for watching. 